welcome Brad Rogers to the studio. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. I'm well, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what's happening? Anything exciting today? Today, and specifically, well, it's a beautiful day out there, minus the uh, the haze. <laughs> um, it's not purple, but it is haze. It is haze. Yeah. Better than yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I, I did just see this morning that the, uh, the quality air index for Indiana is currently the lowest in the entire country. Oh, nice. And so nice, uh, everybody that uh, has any issues with breathing and, and such probably want to maintain their time indoors today as best as possible yes. just to prevent any issues. And of course, it would come one of the you know, couple of nicer days, low, yeah. upper 70s, low 80s, where yeah. you could enjoy being outside, and unfortunately, yeah. the air is what's holding everybody back. Yeah, and, and you know, I don't know if you've been out enough to, it's got a distinct smell today, a little it's, sulfurish. Yeah, I, it's funny as you watch social media, people uh, saying different things. You, you know, some say sulfurish, some say, it smells plastic. I've heard others say it smells like campfire. So everybody's uh, uh, breathing different. They're smelling different things, sure. I guess. So it's kind of interesting. But You didn't mention anything about the aliens. Normally anything online, there's an well, alien there's probably, yeah, 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 I, I, I try to skip over oh, those okay. part. Okay. It's the yeah. aliens' fault. So yeah, uh, otherwise a very good day. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> How's things going at Woodlawn? Good, good. I uh, had our uh, board uh, meeting yesterday and... Uh, went well and uh, really excited. Wanted to thank the commissioners who were able to come out. It was great to have their involvement there. Um, you know, it's a partnership with the county and, and we want to make sure that uh, we get as many people out at those meetings as possible. So we do appreciate them coming out. Um, overall for the month of May, uh, we had a $52,000 operational profit for the month um, and a net income of about 397000 for the month. Um, Again, that's our goal, that operational side, making sure that we can uh, break even and make a little profit um, to rebuild and, and new equipment and things like that for the hospital and the community on just operations alone. Um, you never know what the, the political machine may do with any of those additional funds that we uh, are able to get when they could go away or change. Yeah. So we want to be able to balance that checkbook, so to speak, on the money we make. And so the overall for the year, we're at about $200,000 uh, operational profit, which is um, pretty significant. Uh, uh, we're about $3 million ahead of um, our expectations from last year. Because okay. um, so, what well, we know technology changes and, uh, you know, the machines that uh, you need at Woodlawn are being upgraded all the time. So, Yeah, we're pretty fortunate in the last three or four years that we've had a complete uh, um, up grade or overhaul, if you will, of our diagnostic imaging department. Uh, Molly will tell you that, you know, we have the finest machines out there. Uh, our, uh, our CT and MRI machine are um, as fast for the MRI or the CT and faster for the MRI than what they have at IU Medical Center. Um, they are uh, wonderful machines. And so she's gotten through CT and MRI and MAMO and all of those things over the last several years. So we're pretty good there. But um, yeah, it only takes, what, four or five years? Yeah. And now what you have is obsolete. <laughs> and so um, we need to make sure we try to maintain that operational margin as best we can so we can plan for those changes in the future. So um, updates on construction. I know you ask every month and every month I give you the standard. Uh, yeah, well, we're yeah. not sure yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are moving in oh, to there's uh, a date? the Schaefer building. So uh, Fulton County Medical Clinic downtown will be moving in and opening up on July the 18th. Wow, cool. So uh, awesome. we'll have an open house afterwards once we get in and get settled. But uh, we will be moving in. So uh, there'll be a little bit of downtime at FCMC downtown. Uh, we will be shutting down on Thursday, I believe it is the 13th. That'll be our last day of operation there. Okay. And then that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we'll be getting everything moved into the other place. Yeah, and to, uh, to be able to open up on Tuesday morning. So well, that's excited awesome. about that. Yeah, that is uh obviously uh a new new uh, room and everything else a new layout so it'll take some getting used to as well sure sure well you know you remember when you were a kid and you got new shoes you always thought you ran faster <laughs> so this is kind of that same thing we've got a new building and i think we're going to be more efficient uh -huh. that's right that's right it, it is a In beautiful location it really is and with that um you know again we want to thank dr bugno for 37 years of service to the community um he's retiring um, on that 13th, that, okay. that, that Thursday, the last day downtown. All right. um, 
And um, so we're going to be down a doctor there for a little while, um, and, and he will be sorely missed. So we're going to be doing some moving around and, and such. But uh, coming up in September, uh, we're adding a new physician, Dr. Anthony Witt. Okay. Dr. Witt is a family practice doctor who does some obstetrics, and um, he'll be joining that practice over there. Um, taking that place of uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Bugno as he retires, and and so uh, we're looking really forward to that. Uh, Dr. Witt, uh, uh, you guys are going to love him. Just a super nice young man. Um, we're so excited to have him. Uh, he comes from the Plymouth area mm -hmm. and uh, will join us uh, September, roughly the 15th, I believe it is in September. So look awesome. forward to that. And, and Krista, you know, she'll get her marketing uh, wizardry <laughs> going here shortly. And, and we'll start seeing stuff out and about in the community yeah, about him. Awesome, can't yeah. wait. Um, and then uh, an additional physician, um, you know, uh, we have an opening upstairs in our Woodlawn Medical Professionals after Dr. Cly left. And, um, you know, we are so happy that Dr. Celio has this new fellowship coming up that she's going to do, but that's going to take her away from us right. for about a year. And so um, we wanted to make sure that we stabilized and got some additional help up there. So um, we hired another family practice doc. Um, Dr. Amadi, um, Amazona Amadi. She is also from the Plymouth area. Um, she is a family practice doc who did a fellowship in OB, so she could do C-sections and all of those things as well. So she'll be opening up um, upstairs at the Woodlawn Medical Professionals um, October 15th, 16th. Okay. So we'll be adding those two new physicians over the next uh, few months, and so you guys are going to start seeing the the marketing machine that Krista <laughs> is out there and, and, and getting those people out in the community. Um, two very nice young physicians who are just excited to join Woodlawn and, and we're so excited to have them come on board. That's awesome to hear. Uh, obviously, uh, like you said, you always hate losing the doctors, but uh, uh, Dr. Bugno, long time uh, community figure, yeah. uh, will be missed. And then obviously, uh, if you get a, a fellowship, that's that's you don't want to turn those down. No, she'll be able to come back and, and really add a lot of things to help out her practice and, and help out the community. So she's looking forward to that as well. Really helping us build our maternity oasis as well. Um, we're one of the few in the area now offering OB, so it's always good that we're being able to um, keep growing that program as um, we're committed to earning the right to care for our community. Yeah. Yeah, if you look at some of that strategically, we're, we're making sure that we're adding in family practice docs who um, still have that desire and that ability to do obstetrics. Um, to make sure that we have lots of options for the families in this community. That's good. So, That's good. Um, other things going on at the hospital, there's going to be some parking lot work coming up. Um, so just keep your keep your eyes out for the big trucks and the things coming. They're going to be spraying and patching and, and painting and all that kind of stuff. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. Um, as a thank you, I, I want to thank everybody who uh, was able to come out for the Woodlawn Foundation's 18th Annual Golf Outing. Um, we sincerely appreciate uh, all the support that the community has for the foundation. And, and then again, of course, we thank the foundation for the support that they have for the hospital. So thank you for that. Did you hit a hole in one? No. You didn't? No, I didn't. Um, I thought about it. Yeah, but it, it didn't want to show work off. Out. No, it just doesn't yeah. work out. Like that. Um, I thought about it last year, too, the year before, <laughs> just so you know. You'll probably think about it next year. I might. I might. Um, shout outs. Um, we talked a little bit maybe two months ago about. You know, we have all these accrediting bodies, and although we're not required to participate in, in them, we do. And we do that because it sets a standard of care. And so it lets everybody know we set the highest standards for care in each of the areas. And so this last month, I want to thank and, and really do a big shout out to our laboratory team. Uh, they, did their, they did their CAP survey. And so basically that's a center of accreditation for laboratories and, and uh, pathology. And so, uh, boy, they just go through that place with a fine tooth comb. And, wow. and uh, Emily Scouten and her team, they did an amazing job. So thank you to all the lab staff for all their hard work. Uh, they passed with flying colors. And then also to our sleep lab. Uh, this was the first time that ACHC, which is kind of our whole hospital's accrediting body, did an individualized specific sleep lab assessment mm. and accreditation. So, and they went through it with zero deficiencies and just did a phenomenal job. So thank you to uh, uh, Melinda Rogers and that department and all that team for such hard work over the last several months to get that uh, taken care of. That's awesome. Yeah, really is. And then um, again, you know, it's summertime and 
when we can see each other outside, <laughs> um, you know, come out to the local fairs and festivals. Yeah. Uh, you know, we were down at the Miami County Fair last Friday evening. I was there and several of the team, and, and we were up at Argus Saturday morning, and we were at the Lake Association Saturday morning. And so we're out there and about. We'd love to see you. Yeah. Yeah, stop by, spin our wheel, get a prize. We'd love to have people stop and say hi to us. Um, we're going to have teams out in about pretty much all of July. If you don't see us out, I'm not sure why, because we should be there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be at the Akron Festival. We're going to be uh, over at the uh, Cass County Fair. We're going to be at the Fulton County Fair. We're going to be at the Marshall County Fair. Um, I'm going to eat probably way too many elephant ears. You won't lose them. Three or yes. four of those. Yeah. It's, uh -huh. I it's get not you. good. Not good. No. I, so, I agree, but we will. We really enjoy seeing the kids, and and uh, boy, they like spinning this little wheel. Yeah, you know, the little wheel of fortune type thing, and they really like spinning that and just getting a little prize. Amazing to see how many kids are excited when they get a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it says Woodlawn Hospital yeah. one or something. Well, they know with a spoon you get food. That's you exactly know, right. I mean, you know. They really do enjoy that. So please come on out and, and say howdy awesome. to all of us. Awesome. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you guys out there. We'll be. I know we'll be at the Fulton and Marshall County Fair, so we'll, we'll look forward to seeing you. Absolutely, it. absolutely. And then this, the last thing is uh, just a reminder, you know, Woodlawn Hospital, our um, uh, website has changed. It's woodlawnhospital.org. So um, get on there, check out our new uh, website. Uh, Krista and the team that uh, redid that did a phenomenal job. And uh, um, let us know if you need anything. We're here for you. Yeah. Anything else, Krista? You got nope. anything? Nope, I did a great job. And Brad, uh, Brad's always on it. He's, he's on top of his game. Well, I did bring my, you know, I told you, I brought my reading glasses. Yeah, I'm not sure why you brought them, because you just... Well, I was close enough to here that I could see it, but if I needed them, I had them. You had them, okay. Well, I'm glad you brought them. Well, thanks for coming in. We'll look forward to talking to you again next month. All right, thank you. Uh, Brad and Chris on the Woodlawn Hospital Health Report here on Giant FM.